In my work, I'm looking for permanent ideas that won't change in time. This has to do with questions we've had throughout the ages about our most fundamental aspects of life. At the beginning, I start painting with big gestures. I am free because I have all this space available for growth and for appearances. It's basically an experience I'm having within that whole range, this whole space of the canvas. And at this time, character starts to appear. Certain conditions have a report, have a relationship with what's gonna follow. Because if the space was like a big rectangle at first, then it gets into this intricate cuts and then the space starts being limited. Kind of like our history, that we know very basic stuff at the beginning. The further we go, the broader the idea is. And then as soon as we start filling in the blanks to the present, is full of information. And that's the path that I want to take with my art. It starts with an ecosystem, with an environment that will dominate and will promote questions and behaviors from the organisms that start living in this space. My brush strokes will be compared to electrons because they're matching the neighbor and they're reacting to what's around it and forming these molecules and these forms that start moving around and I'm letting myself paint without much language because language is something we invented as a tool. But art is a weird sensitivity that comes out in strange ways that is beyond language and has to do more with experience and with feelings and things that we don't understand. Instead of painting what I see outside of myself, I paint what I think and what I feel. And what is outside is a little complicated to understand because we think certain things are real. The first time they came about, they were probably unknown. As infants, before we have been conditioned to think and to recognize things and to repeat certain things, the world looks to us maybe full of color, of movement, of uh, patterns that we forget and we don't see anymore, but they're actually there. Since we start saying that separating things and calling them names, we think that becomes reality. And I'm exploring with these works things that I think, because what we think is more honest, because our thoughts are very, very personal and private and unique. Those things get combined with the feelings that we have. And these feelings we share with everybody. Everybody feels a certain love, everybody feels certain emotions according to their thoughts and their conditions in their environment. I wouldn't trust calling something real just because it has been there before. I'm interested in seeing the potential for things to become and to exist, as well as ideas, because form is synonym with ideas. These principles of relationships and movement, I believe is a more real language than even the written language because it talks about what we experience daily, our emotions, our impressions, and that happens even without us thinking about it. It's like breathing. We live with a lot of color and values and those things is what gives quality to our lives. Playing with this, creating new forms that react to that environment is something fun to look into. And as my painting keeps developing, forms start to appear. I go into that research of the potential of the forms. And these forms that I'm painting become a type of body, a type of organism that starts to behave and react in ways that are influenced by the environment, by other things that I have painted around. Different colors, different elements pointing at it. And this relationship develops the idea of this organ, this uh, tool 
because it's a tool within the painting, it serves for a purpose, it has its purpose within the painting, and it tells it how to behave in a way that it will be collaborating with the whole in a positive way, harmonizing with the whole, because that's the goal of every organism, to grow in a way that it can succeed in terms of its movement towards developing and reproducing. Then there is the potential for relationship, because not only I'm focused on developing one organism, one form, that space in between far away forms and even closer together becomes the value of the relationship. Are they helping each other? Are they reflecting each other's colors? Are they reacting to each other's values? If someone is catching more light, is the other one happy with the other light that is catching? I'm having these weird conversations with those different types of potential. Then once there is that organ in relationship to another one, there is the beauty of the energy that encompasses that whole vibration. Because through my brush strokes, which I would relate them to these electrons, looking for the opposite charge to get attached to and look for these vibrations within the whole, this type of energy starts accumulating and dividing things with symmetrical qualities. Our imagination can invent perfect symmetry like Plato would uh, suggest. We can invent the idea of a perfect triangle in our minds, but here, because we are dealing with matter, it's never perfect. It's more like nature in that sense, because it's symmetrical because it's balancing, but it's not symmetrical in the mathematical way of exact proportions. That beautiful energy that keeps moving things, and then from that energy, we have all these beautiful patterns of flowers, of mountains, of anything, creating a beautiful symmetry within themselves with their relationship. The last potential I can find is the potential of my own reasoning as I manage these elements and principles. That relationship is the one that is human because it's my part since all humanity shares similar visions. So by studying the patterns of nature, I can recognize the most human aspects of myself and create this language that tries to communicate that. These paintings are like a conversation with myself. My relationship with the painting is similar to my relationship with everything around me because I want to see things from so many perspectives that they lose their one point perspective form. They become this full potential because anything, depending on how you turn it, can be described differently. So it's infinite. Instead of trying to recognize things or look for similarities, 
I'm inviting myself to enjoy what actually is. The flow of light and color that creates images and gives us imagination. 